Scientology is now facing harsh new criticism from one of its own. A former high-ranking official, Deborah Cook, blasted the church leadership in a weekend email to thousands of current and former members. She targets Scientology's fundraising practices and calls on members to scale back on donations. ABC's Dan Harris is here with more. And Dan, the church officials are fighting back. Indeed they are. Good morning to you. The woman who sent this email blast was once one of Scientology's fiercest defenders. Now she has become a very public critic, one that some say could especially be especially damaging to this very, very powerful church. The Church of Scientology, known all over the world for its celebrity members like Tom Cruise, John Travolta and Kirstie Alley. It's also known for its controversies, like when a spokesman walked out of an interview with ABC News or when a BBC reporter lost it when confronting that same spokesman. Now a new upheaval involving this woman, Debbie Cook, who was a high-ranking official for 17 years until she left the church staff in 2007. She was one of the most prominent members in the entire world. It's virtually any Scientologist who's been involved in it for very long has actually had FaceTime with her as a very respected person. Days ago, Debbie Cook sent an email to thousands of current and former church members in which she says she is still a completely dedicated believer in Scientology, which has produced stunning and miraculous results, but that the current president, David Miscavige, has accumulated more power within the church than the founder of the faith, L. Ron Hubbard, envisioned for any single successor. A charge former church official Marty Rathbun agrees with. He wanted to make checks and balances. He thought that's the way that Scientology would, would um, thrive in the future. But um, Miscavige um, thwarted his best intentions. Cook's email also complains that the church is engaged in continuous fundraising from its members and spends too much on opulent buildings instead of promoting the faith. In a letter to ABC News, a lawyer for the church says, quote, she is an apostate. Apostates are known to be unreliable with respect to their former faiths. The letter also says Cook is, quote, not qualified to speak about church finances as she never worked for the Church of Scientology International, which is the mother church that controls finances. Marty Rathbone, who the church has called a heretic and a liar, says officials are so worried because they know Cook's criticism could be damaging. This is one very important milestone right here. It's like a, a big breach in the dike, but it's not the only one. In a flurry of statements to ABC News, the church defended its construction of numerous church buildings around the world as a way to spread the faith, comparing it to the Catholic Church and its construction of cathedrals in the Middle Ages. George? Okay, Dan, thanks very much. And coming up, Josh has the play of the day.